today is my follow-up day from uh, an intac and uh, collagen cross-linking with Dr. Brian. Um, I travel from Italy, I'm English, and um, I, I came all the way over here because this is the only place that I could find that had a good solution for what was happening in my eyes. So I was diagnosed with KC two years ago. I was told it was in the early stages, and I was told that I could have the option of a cross-linking treatment, which would be quite painful, um, which would be able to freeze the progression of the KC. Um, or I could just wait, because it's possible that it would progress so slowly that it would never um, really have any kind of effect in my eyes. I chose to wait, and after one year there was no progression, so I thought, okay, that's all cool. So I didn't do anything else. And then uh, a year later, I went back and it progressed so far, they said there's no other option except for a, a cornea graft, which was a big shock um, and very scary. I mean, those two years um, weren't comfortable years either. Even though I wasn't having any progression, I was feeling all the time that it could start progressing. And um, I tried many, uh, many things to help stop the progression as well and I changed a lot of things. I didn't do as many things as I normally did. I stopped. I had like a sabbatical for almost a year. I did my study and I looked after my son and I didn't do very much work because I work as a freelancer and I took a lot of rest and I did a lot of walks and a lot of rest and a lot of walks but it was, you know, it was like putting my life on hold basically. So when I found out that it had progressed and that I would have to have a cornea graft, I did not feel good. I felt, I felt terrified and I felt horrified. I felt horrified that it had gone so fast as if, you know, through my fingers. And I also felt terrified of the idea of having a cornea graft and having to do the things that I have to do in my daily life and uh, live with the after effects of the cornea graft and all of the healing that comes with that. And I didn't think it was a good idea at all. So um, I took a couple of days and I decided that's what I'm going to have to do and it was just my fears. And on the same day as I asked my ophthalmologist to go ahead and start looking for how to go ahead with the cornea graft, I started looking on the internet for other options. And that afternoon I came across this website and that's how I came to the Boxler Wackler Vision Institute. And the, that evening I emailed and um, the very next day I got emails back and I kept on getting emails back and by the time I got here, which was three weeks later, I still hadn't heard back from my original ophthalmologist about the cornea graft and um, yesterday I got an email from them. <laughs> But I just did this treatment here and I am so happy I did this. In every way I've been handled very, very well. I feel like I'm in safe hands. I have to see what's going to happen with my eyes now. But I feel that I've done the best option that I had given my situation. And um, I feel like I got taken care of so well. So the scariest thing for me wasn't the procedure at all. The procedure compared to what was what I had in front of me was like the the best thing. I just it, I didn't have really any fear involved with that at all. The scariest thing was organizing all the logistics and getting the money together. Having Irene, she just kept on even emailing me back. It gave everyone around me, all my family was very very worried. I was calming them down all the time. So it just gave them some idea that uh, this is a reputable organization and it helped them understand what I was going to do and it helped them be able to commit to which enabled me to be able to come. So that kind of contact was incredible. But it wasn't just contact about information for the procedure or getting the appointments done. Um, they helped me find the hotel. They gave me advice about how to get into Los Angeles they um, I, in so many different ways they've helped in so many different ways so when I got here also I've been taken care of very nicely
when I needed to talk, there were people talking. When I needed to talk about other things, what the procedure was going ahead, people were talking to me. While I was needing to be quiet, I was left alone. So very, very sensitive, very, very helpful, but extremely polite. Um, the procedure itself, in text, very easy. No pain, nothing. Very quick. Uh, the the cross-linking, I found it a little bit kind of a strange experience. And I had moments when I couldn't actually see the light. So it was going double. And that was a very strange experience. And there was some sensation in the eye. It wasn't painless. So, um, yeah, it, I can I can say the cross-linking was a little bit more tricky to experience than, the, than actually the intent. Afterwards, there was also some pain. I got back to my hotel. I pressed it. Um, in the eye, I had one eye uh, with cross-linking. Both eyes had cross-linking. The right eye didn't have any intact, and this eye feels fine today. The intact eye feels a little bit scratchy, but it's nothing compared to some of the pain that I've been going through just living with my eyes. I had a very painful time in the last two years. Um, Thank you very much to everyone who works here because they really did an amazing job.